So the question is, can you get a good value in a used or refurbished Dell computer from Amazon? Let's find out. All right, welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I usually do Mac videos or Apple videos, right? I do some PC, which I said I would get a little bit more into. And that's what this one's gonna be about. What I wanna do in this video, I'm just gonna kinda of set it up for you right away. A lot of people always ask me, can you get a good refurbished Dell computer from Amazon? I mean, are those ones you see out there, are they good values? I mean, are you gonna get ripped off if you buy them? What I wanna say is, I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna price out from Amazon a computer that I could build, probably the, the lousiest computer possible. I'm gonna find the, you know, what's the cheapest computer I could almost buy uh, with all the different parts. And I'm gonna give you a price list on that. And I'm gonna show you what it costs. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some examples of some used refurbished Dell computers and what they include. And then you guys can compare the two costs. You know, is it a good value? Are you getting a lot more for your money if you buy those refurbished Dell computers from Amazon versus buy, you know, building your own? The question, obviously, I mean, again, these are more business-related computers. They're not going to have like massive graphics cards. So if you're looking for a kind of a, you know, a gaming system or something like that, this won't be for you. But for business or for your work or for anything like that that you need Windows, Windows 10, possibly Windows 11, these are going to be great systems. So let me show you. Without further ado, I'm just going to share my screen here. I'm going to show you the kind of the cheapest computer I can build that I could find almost just to show you what the low end would be. And then I'm going to come in some pricing and, you know, I'll provide you links to them and everything of the computers I think are pretty good values. And I'll show you the difference in cost and let you decide. So put in the comments what you think. Let's get into the video right now. All right, let's go ahead and start this video. So the purpose of this first part is just to show you what are some of the cheapest parts you can buy. And these don't all have to even go together. I'm just showing you what's the cheapest kind of motherboard, what's the cheapest case, just so we can kind of give a, a lowest cost system, even if they don't go perfectly together. I'm not, this is not the system I'm building. I'm just gonna use it as a comparison to compare against some, some basic Dell complete systems you can buy refurbished. So let's go ahead and just get into this. I'll do a price list on this and then I'll go through this quickly and show you the total price if you were to buy it, just build a really cheap computer. So here's one of the cheapest cases. It's a DKE ITX case, $29.99, you can see it here. So it's very cheap. Uh, you can tell by this, it's not gonna be the best quality. Um, it's got one review, so you're taking a chance with this. Let's go down the list here. So the next thing is a motherboard. And again, this may not even fit that case. It's not the purpose of this. I'm just showing you for a Dell, uh, you know, for the same kind of Dell motherboard you're going to be getting in the computers I'm going to show you, you know, you're going to be around $69 for that motherboard. So we'll add this to our list here as well. And let's keep going. So we need a motherboard. We need a hard drive. And the ones I'm going to be showing you, the full built out computers, are going to have 256 gigabytes in them. So here we go. This is $34.99 right now for an A data, let's say. If we wanted to pick one up like this, that's fairly decent. You know, they're anywhere from about 30 to 40, so I pick one kind of in the middle here at $34.99. So what else do we need in this build? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna need a CPU. And again, there's tons of CPUs, and the ones I'm gonna be getting on the pre-built are gonna be a little bit older, but they're gonna be i5 quad cores. And so I went with something in the middle for the new, you know, and the one I'm gonna build, let's just say, I went with the Celeron. So again, it's a low-end CPU, 54 watt, 109 bucks still. I mean, CPU prices has gone up a little bit lately, so, even this cheap Celeron, even though it's not that cheap, it's actually not that bad of a CPU, is going to be still $109. So we'll just use this cost, you know, for building just a really basic system. So the next thing we need here is going to be a power supply. I found literally the cheapest one I could find on here, $18.99 from Coolmax. I know that Coolmax puts a lot of their stuff in these cheap computers. So let's go ahead and use this one again. It doesn't matter if it fits the case or anything like that. That's not the purpose of this. Just going to get a basic price. What's the cheapest price we can get here? So that's what we need. So what else is in here? We forgot RAM. So RAM's really expensive right now. And the systems I'm going to be showing you, one of them I think has 16 gigs of RAM in it. So if, it, if you wanted 16 gigs of RAM in a system you're building, and it was just, even if it was DDR4, this is a PC4 25600. So basically, even for RAM like this, it's going to be 79, 80 bucks. So this is actually going to be 76.99. So we'll use that price right there. And let's keep going down the list. The big, big hit here is going to be Windows. So all these systems I'm going to show you come with Windows. This is Windows on Best Buy right now, $131.99. So if you're going to be buying Windows, you're going to be spending, you can maybe get this for a little bit less if you look around, or you can use it, you know, without registering it, I guess. But if you want to register it, it's $139, $131.99. So you got to add that to the cost as well. Finally, two things we need here is we actually do need a, uh, obviously a keyboard. I found the, one of the cheapest keyboards I could find. 
$12.99 here. Not gonna be the best. It's got pretty good review, but still, it's gonna be a, a wired keyboard, so kind of, you know, I wouldn't recommend this. Let's put it that way. And then finally, we still need a mouse, right? So 1063, this is an Amazon Basics mouse. And so you can see by just doing this, we're gonna get to the end, but like, now let's go ahead and add all this stuff up. And this is just a total, like I said, some of the cheapest stuff I could find, and what does it come out to? What is the final cost on all this stuff I just showed you? All right, so when we add up the price list of just building that really inexpensive computer, you can see what it comes out to. Here's the price list. You can see everything right here, $494.58 for that atrocious system that we just looked at. So if you build it yourself, not only is your time gonna be invested, a lot of money, almost 500 bucks. So what, what systems do I recommend that would be basically Windows, refer, um, Windows Dell refurbished from, from Amazon? And you know, again, we're, we're dealing with $494 and some change. Let's take a look at my first pick here. So this is a Dell Optiplex. It's 5550 micro form. You can see it right here. Intel Core i5. It's a 76T, 7600T. 16 gigs of DDR4, 256 gigs of SSD space, and it's Windows 10. It's a renewed computer, 358. So you're saving roughly 150 bucks and you're getting a lot more. It's a micro system, so it's gonna be a very small footprint. You can see it here. It's gonna have, this actually comes with the keyboard, the cord, everything like that. You can see it all wrapped in one. And it's a little bit newer system as far as just, you know, well, it's not that new of a system. It is a refurbished system. Obviously the CPU is a few years old, but compared to some of the other refurbs you get, this is a fairly, I guess, recent CPU. So. 358 bucks versus almost 500 for that terrible system. And this is all nice packaged by Dell. You can see it's all packaged in a nice small system. It's got the audio jacks, everything you would need, and uh, a lot of different connections as well. So let's go, that's the first one. And the second one that I would recommend if you wanna spend a little bit less money, it would be right here, $267. It's a Dell Optiplex 3050 Micro. And this is gonna be the reason it's a little bit older CPU. It's an i5-6500T. 8 gigs of RAM only instead of 16, so that's the major difference right there, those two differences. Same five, uh, 256 solid state drive, and also Windows is included, 267. You may think about that. 267 versus 494 for this system. I mean, look at all the ports you get in here. You get all these USB um, you know, ports that you want on here, everything like that. You get HDMI. And then you also get the keyboard and the mouse as well, which they're probably going to be very you know, crap. You know, They're not going to be good, let's put it that way, but they're going to be as good as the other ones that I showed you. So this is what I recommend. I mean, definitely for almost, this one's almost half and you're getting a lot more, I think, for than if you built that really cheap computer and you're gonna get a lot of headache from that cheap computer. So I recommend going with one of these two systems. I'll have links to these in the description. Obviously do your own research, figure out which ones you like. There's tons of them out there, but I think it's a much better deal to go this way. All right, so what do you think? I was really surprised with the cost of RAM right now and the cost of a motherboard, the cost of a CPU, even if you kind of build the lousiest computer possible, you're, you know, it's, it's going to be way more than if you just buy one of the used refurbished Dell computers. Not only that, you know all the parts are going to work together as long as you're going through a reputable company. You're going to have some advantages there as well, you know, just being able to look up resources if something does not work correctly. You're going to have a lot of people using that same system, so you get a lot of, you know, the community is going to be larger. So there's some advantages to doing it. I mean, if you're not someone that's into gaming and you don't need that gaming power, I mean, this is definitely a good idea to kind of look at those computers for just your home use, a burner computer, maybe you have a second home somewhere where you want a computer when you go, when you kind of visit every couple of weeks or something, or even just a computer that's going to be not maybe a powerhouse, but good enough to get email done, just basic work tasks, Zoom meetings. So these are great computers. And I think it showed you like, no matter what you build, you really can't build them much cheaper than you can buy them refurbished, used from Amazon on Dell. So, you know, the moral of the story is again, Everyone's gonna be a little bit different on what you actually want and what you need, but these systems are really good for the cost if you kinda of want that kind of sweet spot that I showed you. So without trying to build everything from scratch, it's just an easier way to do it, less hassle, unless you enjoy it, of course. If you enjoy building computers, then that's up to you. I do sometimes, but not, not once a year or anything like that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are these good systems for the money? Would you buy them, would you not buy them? We'll talk to you in a couple days, I think. Peace.